Before teams like the Trailblazers, Thorns, and Timbers called Portland home, amateur boxing was one of the city's main sporting attractions. In the 1960s, Portland's Knott Street Boxing Club produced more Golden Glove champions than any other club in America. In today's show and tell, Tony meets two gentlemen who have called the gym home for more than 50 years. We're at the Matt Dishman Community Center, uh, home to Knott Street Boxing, where about 50 years ago, these two gentlemen first put on these boxing gloves. What do you remember about your first time walking in to Knott Street Boxing and putting on these gloves when you were both much younger men? Well, I remember it would always be packed with a lot of people, and uh, there was two rings here and somebody was always getting beat up. <laughs> I came in that door right over there because I wanted to watch the boxers working out and one of them was in the ring and he was shadow boxing. He looked at me and he said, hey, get some gloves on, I need a sparring partner. Came back Saturday morning and our coach Chuck Lincoln was sitting right down there. Yeah. He watched us work out again. He said, hey, you want to join the team? <laughs> <laughs> and you assessed your bruises and said, <laughs> sure. I've been here since 1950 and uh, in Portland, in the Portland area, and everybody I live around or know at one time came in here. Aaron, you've written a book about the history of uh, the Knott Street Boxing Club. What's important about that history that we need to hang on to that? Well, I came back here about a year ago to get in shape, and I kept walking past the trophy case, and I, I had forgotten that in 1961, the Knott Street Boxing Team had won the National AAU Championship. Which was unheard of for a yeah, West Coast club. Unbelievable. Yeah. Beat New York, Philadelphia, Detroit, all those big teams. Amazing. And I thought, wow, somebody's going to have to write about this, because we're all forgetting about it. Even I had forgotten about it. Yeah. And yeah. so I decided to write the book, and it, uh, it turned out to be a lot of fun. You both were here as younger men, but you didn't meet each other. You you probably were in the same ring at the same time, mm -hmm. but it was later in life that you came to actually know each other as the friends that you are today. So how did that happen? And we started talking about our old friends and the people we knew here and the guys we boxed with and stuff. And we're like, holy casmoly. <laughs> You're my old buddy. I forgot all about it. There's more value to the sport than just the yeah. sport, is there not? Yeah, I can take care of myself. I don't care who you are, you wow. know. And uh, and and that was a, a real powerful thing for me because I was always short and chubby, and yeah. people picked on me. But when I started boxing here, I built some self confidence. That I think it kind of changed my life. And from here, I went to Portland Community College and down to the University of Oregon and journalism and got a good job and had a good life. You guys have the gloves on right now, and what are the chances? You guys get in there go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. <laughs> no? <laughs> no? <laughs> All right. Gotta keep that jab right. out there. Ne neutral corners, let's have a clean fight, gentlemen. Uh, it's been a pleasure to meet both of you there. Yeah, a little, little knock knuckles there. Um, congratulations on, on great careers and for what you're doing to kind of help uh, keep this all going here. So, Thank yeah, you. Great to meet you both. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned before that the KPTV used to air yeah. Live, yeah. live coverage of those boxing matches. And so they gave us this award. Uh, I, I think Aaron actually did it because he, he kind of is sweet on Kim and Shauna. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be quite honest. Uh, but it's lovely, so thank you for that. That's neat. And then the book is available only through the Matt Dishman Community Center. So if you want to pick up the book, and I really you know would recommend that you do, we have a link to the Matt Dishman Community Center website on our Good. site, kptv.com, but you can pick it up that way. But great, great, great. Yeah. Uh, Portland historical yes. uh, record, really, uh, so worth picking up as well. I see there's a little dog ear in there. Is that because you want to show something, or that's where um, you uh, no, that's where you read to through. so far? Taking notes, probably. Oh, okay, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, yeah. 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 What a cool story. Yeah, and the, the club is still history. up and running. A anybody can Love go. It. Um, it's operated through Matt Dishman uh, Community Center, but it's its own little entity. Uh, but just give them a call, ask about it. They'd be welcome to have you in there. Very uh, welcoming environment, even though you are wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> so is this really for Kim and I? Yeah. For Kim and me? Yeah. yeah. I was we'll, going to put we'll it in the it. awards case if we can. I love we should. That. Yeah. We should. Really I love cool. that. That's really yeah. neat. There you go. Excellent. Thanks, Tony. Trophy case. Yeah. Yes. There you yes. go. Congratulations. Uh, let's